Welcome to Sosnovka for Total Mix Ration on an industrial scale with me, Mr. Sealy P. So here's what's happening, ladies and gents. I was aiming for, or have been aiming for, getting all of the trophies that I needed to get. The one I didn't have was breeding 20 cows. So I'm on my test map and I decided that was what I was going to achieve. So I set out to do that and whilst doing it I thought, you know what, I'll just do a quick video just to show the setup and what I'm doing. Um, this is for Total Mix Ration on a kind of large scale, industrial scale, if you want to look at it like that. I have got a field of wheat which the harvester is now going at so to get me straw. I've got two big fields of, let's just go onto the map. So field 25 is wheat, the harvester is going and that will give me straw swaths. 23, 20, 15, 19 and what I'm on now, 14, is all grass. 23 I've left as grass. 19, 15 and 14 I turned into hay. 20 is grass at the moment but I'm going to turn it into hay. All for this reason. In the bunker side over there I had I had 600,000 litres of silage and I've got four hay lofts. These two were initially for hay these two for straw. They will take both, that's not a problem at all. 250,000 litres in each. So I had 500,000 litres of straw and 500,000 litres of hay. But because I had more hay, that overspilled. So it worked out I actually put some in this one as well. So I had about 750,000 litres of hay, which obviously I've used some of now. For doing the ratio that I do, and I'm using the Pecan Big Mamouette. Um, feed wagon this is 64,000 litres 32,000 litres hay 16,000 litres straw 16,000 litres silage gives me pretty much the right mix so what I did was this I've got the Joskin can't which one it was now Transpace 8027 this is a 31,000 litre trailer which means if I fill that with hay that's about a thousand off exactly what I need for the, m the mix so that's what I've been using for that so first step is this under my hayloft and fill the trailer Once that's filled, fill, full, I pull it over here and stick it roughly between the two sets of conveyor belts that I've got set up here. Back that a little bit. About there. Should do it. And stop there for the moment. So 31,000 litres of hay here. Two sets of conveyor belts. I've tweaked them a little bit so they're at right angle. Now, back to the Pecon feed mixer wagon. The first step then, in actually making the mix, was the hay. Next step is the straw. I need 16,000 litres of this, so I come under one of my straw ones and start filling. Like so. But I only need 16,000, so I'm watching that bottom right hand corner. Eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. That's not too bad. Fraction, fraction over. Top left hand corner. 100% of what is in there at the moment is straw. Now, when I take it under here, the next step will be adding in the hay. Perfect. So, what I'm going to do now is unload onto the floor, the conveyor belts will pick it up, bring it into here and you'll see this change colour very quickly. We have a mix, not a total mix ration yet. I 
I don't want to put too much on the floor, otherwise it lifts the conveyors at the end and it all goes a little bit pear-shaped, but we're looking good at the moment. Once that pile's gone pretty much to the next bit, until that trailer's empty, so I've got the 31,000 litres. So I'll have the proper mix of what I need. Occasionally it overspills a bit and you need to move on the conveyors, but it should be fine. Like so, lovely. I do it using the grain door rather than the full door only because I want it to come out fairly slowly so it doesn't, like say, um, it doesn't overfill the, uh, the area just in front of the conveyor belts. Some words there, obviously. Look forward a bit. Go. Perfect. And the last step on our industrial grade total mix ration production is to put in the silage. Now, I'm not taking credit for this, not in any way, shape, or form. Um, I was sent a link, commented a link by Saint Aggressor. Thank you for that. And it was a link to a video that he had done using this method pretty much as it is now. He had more conveyor belts, um, so it comes right under here, and the last element will combine. If I go to the top left hand corner now, the green bar will slowly come down as the middle bar for silage goes up, the bottom bar for straw will come down ever so slightly until they all hit green. The middle bar is the one I'm looking at, because what will happen is, when that gets up to the arrow, the white arrow, the colour of the silage in the in here now will change and it will go a lighter colour. All the bars will go green, that will be pretty much a perfect mix. Bottom right hand corner is showing mix ration, but for me it's, you know, needs to be just right. This will go up to 64,000 litres. change colour any moment. There we go. All the bars are in the green. The last 4,000 litres will go in. And that's it. 64,000 litres of total mix ration. I say fairly effortlessly, it took me a long time to set all this up. To cut enough um, grass to make enough hay to get enough straw took a while but once it's done once it's set up production after that is fairly easy so the last step is to feed the cows and there we go that's it. Industrial grade total mix ration production. Scroll on to the animals. Bottom right hand corner. Say bottom, but the two bottom ones are going up. The reason I'm using the harvester on filled, whichever number it was now, with the wheat in was because I need more straw. I need straw for bedding and I need it for mix ration. Exactly what I thought. And there we have it. And as soon as I'm ready, I'll go back round again, do the same thing, and off we go. That is about it. 
like I said, it takes a while to set up. Um, but it's my test map, so it wasn't a problem. I have achieved my ninth um, trophy, which was the cowboy one to breed 20 cows, which I now have done. And because I've got the ninth one, it now gives you, or the ninth one, sorry, the 17th one, I thought I said ninth, it gives you the 18th one for completing all the trophies. And that's me done. That's it. Total mixed ration, large scale. Hope you found it useful, informative, interesting. If you have, give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, thanks for watching.